I woke up in the morning and I noticed a train of ants walking all the way from the balcony door to the kitchen. So I started thinking hard about how I can kill them all by electricity in one shot. And even in that case, probably one or two of the ants will blow up like a fuse and will save the rest. Yay! It's not really possible, so instead I decided to use the good old bug spray and spray those ants to death. All you need to do is to spray over their walkway like this. Holy It was very dangerous. I almost burned the place down. I didn't see this stupid little fire in the fireplace. Never spray those things into fire. It's extremely dangerous. Before we start, smart kids don't try this at home. Dumb kids, stop watching right now. Okay, let's see how far the fire goes. Always put some thought in your experiments before hurting yourself. Let's try again. It smells terrible and it's about a meter long. What, what if the can blows up in your hand? I don't think it will happen for two reasons. First, there is no oxygen in the can, so even if the fire gets to the nozzle, it will not explode. And second, the fire forms within a distance from the nozzle, so it doesn't even heat up the can. What, how far away does it form? It started from 3 to 4 inches and went down to 1 inch, and I lost my ruler. Nope, it doesn't work at all. Um, don't touch hot stuff. Hi! Replacing a light bulb is one of the simple things to do. The first thing you need to do is to remove the broken bulb. Ow. First, we have to make sure that the bulb is not too hot. Now that it's not hot, we can unscrew it. Sometimes when you use a lamp for a long period of time and it goes through a lot of temperature cycles and the screw part is rusted, when you try to unscrew it from the fixture, the screw part can break off the glass part and gets stuck in the fixture. Just make sure you don't cut your fingers and take the screw part out. My finger! Good thing the breaker opened. Don't just shove your finger in an electrical socket or fixture. Always make sure it's powered down or unplugged. And even then, always use a tool, not your finger. Okay, now that it is unplugged, Let's use our plier and take the screw part out. Come on now. God, piece of <laughs> Okay, it's time to select a proper light bulb. Always make sure that the power rating of your light bulb doesn't exceed the rating of your fixture. And one more thing is that you can't really take light bulbs from some countries and use them in some other countries. Because, for example, if a light bulb is 100 watts in a country that uses 110 volts, is not 100 watts in a country that uses 220 volts. It's actually 400 watts, which means that it will blow up. I plug the fixture back in so I can see when the light turns on. Now it's time to put the new bulb in. Just screw it nice and tight and it'll turn on. It's not turning on. I broke the ball. Don't buy cheap bulbs and don't screw them too tight, otherwise they'll break. There's a switch. I guess I'll have to redo. Well, the lamp is already out, so always use a tool to get the screw part out. Unplug! Damn it! Unplug! Hi! I saw this video in the internet and I thought it was very interesting, but underexplained. The experiment involves a vibrator and is done in a bathroom. Let me show you what I've got. Here's my giant subwoofer speaker that I use as a vibrator and there is a rubber pipe hot glued to its surface. Let's run water through it and see what happens. Here it is. Now let's turn on the vibration. It's awesome. See all the water droplets hanging in me there? 
Here's my hand as a reference. It's beautiful. I feel like singing. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's true. I saw this thing on a page on YouTube and I knew what I would do. I would make the same thing too. Let me do some magic. Water, go down. Water, stop. Now water, go up. And stop again. Do you think it's all edited video? Well, it's not. Here's my hand in the water. It seems like there is nothing between these two droplets. But if I put my finger between them, water appears out of nowhere. This is a miracle. If it was a thousand years ago, I could have faked myself as a man of God and gathered millions of followers and become some holy sh**. Just think of all the free stuff I could get. Well, actually I'm sure I can create a new religion today with lots of followers. There are always undecided dumbasses out there ready to be guided. It's just a matter of who gets to them first. So, it seems like the water is levitating. If that's true, then what the f is the sound of the pouring water? And why the f water is going down my drain, huh? Okay, let me show you what's going on. This is what you see, and this is what I see. But why is that? Imagine I move my hand like this. Well, actually much faster, something like this. Now imagine the camera takes shots only when my hand is in this position. Snap 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 so if i play this back it will look like that my hand is only in this position while it's actually moving back and forth same goes for the water i set the frequency of the vibration exactly the same as the frame rate of the camera which is 30 frames per second so the camera takes shots exactly at the same phase of the water vibration and it will look like the, the water is hanging in midair if I change the frequency of the vibration higher or lower than the frame rate it will look like that the water is going down or up but that's not all. In order to get clear shots, you need to have lots of light to be able to set the shutter speed very fast. And that's why I have two lights in this room. This is a shutter speed of 1 600th of a second, 1 300th of a second, 1 100th of a second, and 1 30th of a second. I talked enough for one video and I still have to make two more interesting videos around the same subject. But I still feel like I'm missing something.